Kamu Thank you all for coming. This is another uh, big day for uh, Zarker. I'm the director of the Seattle Engineering Department. We saw Waste Utility as a division in the department. Um, we uh, have been working on a number of fronts in the garbage uh, utility. Um, we uh, are uh, preparing a new contract for uh, the collection of all garbage in the city. We're working on landfill closure out in Kent, uh, but the thing I think that uh, we're most happy about is the progress we made on the recycling business. Um, we will be uh, beginning um, in March uh, collecting all uh, ten aluminum cans, uh, glass jars and bottles, newspapers. Thanks, Gary. I want to thank uh, each and every one of you for coming today to help us get off to what uh, we know is a very good start in notification of this big uh, city of ours on the uh, step toward recycling that we're, that we're taking today. There are people here from neighborhood organizations who've helped us uh, in this effort. There are people here from uh, various uh, organizations who have worked on our advisory committees in helping us get to the point where we are now. I would specifically like to uh, thank our uh, solid waste utility. I detect uh, a, a real energy in that organization now as we begin to move to a comprehensive and much more sensible, much more environmentally rational means of disposing of uh, this city's uh, sizable amount of, uh, of solid waste. The, uh, comprehensive plan we're working on has as its linchpin, as its uh, very foundation, uh, recycling. It's a recycling strategy, uh, a strategy that uh, will take us from roughly 22 percent uh, recycling of our uh, solid waste today uh, to at least 40 percent uh, by 1997. And we're going uh, further than that if it is at all humanly possible to do that. And humanly possible is perhaps a good way to describe this foundation of our system because it depends on people. It depends on humans looking at their environment in their home and in their larger community and doing something better uh, that also makes better economic sense for each and every one of the ratepayers of our uh, utility. One way to reach that very ambitious goal uh, is through curbside recycling. When I decided uh, to recommend to the City Council that we move in this direction, the uh, fundamental, most important um, issue that I had to deal with is the issue of convenience uh, in stimulating recycling. Recycling must be convenient for as many people to use it as must use it uh, in order uh, for us to meet our goal. It just must be convenient. <clears throat> There are people out there every single day in our city who recycle almost all of their waste. These people are uh, incredible at what they do. Most people are not yet at that level of consciousness in recycling, so it must be convenient, and it must be at the curbside. Today we mark the beginning of the sign-up period uh, for the residential curbside recycling program. Those people living in single-family homes, duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes will be able, uh, beginning uh, on February 1st, to recycle glass, cans, and paper. Each person who is eligible uh, to participate in the recycling program will receive a card, a rendition of which uh, is over here, uh, in the mail uh, almost immediately. And we urge you to uh, fill out that card and send it in and participate. Seattle resident.
join me in curbside recycling. I'll fill in the rest later. <laughs> yes. yes. Seriously, um, take this effort seriously because it will save our city money, it will save individuals money, and it will save our environment for the long term. Now I'd like you to introduce you to the uh, person who is going to uh, have to monitor this in the city council from her position of leadership uh, in uh, that committee and uh, thank her for all the work she has put together to date in getting us to this point in our comprehensive recycling program. Council members are coming out. After talking about waste reduction, it became clear that recycling needed to be easier and it needed to be available and there needed to be incentives. The only good thing about our high garbage rates is that it, it, it encourages people to recycle. Because recycling, you're paying yourself to do it. You're actually saving on collection costs, which is useful. There are other benefits as well. We know there are environmental benefits. We know we have less to dispose of, less landfilling. Uh, and that it's also philosophically a good thing to reuse the materials that we have that are short. Now, there are going to be two separate programs, as you know. Uh, uh, we have two different contractors. They came in with different proposals, so it gives us a chance to test two uh, styles of recycling. One is this large container that will be used in the south end for monthly collection, and all of the recyclables go into it. There is no sorting. Um, the second one with the, with the uh, boxes uh, are in the north end, and those will be picked up every week. So we'll find out in, in a reasonable time during this contract which works the best. Both are curbside. Both are offered at no additional charge to homes. This is part of the total cost of, of garbage in, in the city. So that um, we're asking everybody to participate, and um, I will be signing a card as well. I'm delighted. I have brought a can to recycle today. This is only one. I'm just waiting for curbside. Because um, recycle America will be doing north of the Ship Canal, and recycle. Uh, Recycle Seattle will be um, doing the program in the, the south part of the, the city, south of the Ship Canal. Um, we may um, miss some folks. Those mailers will be going out next week. Uh, we'd like people to return them as quickly as they can to uh, the uh, solid waste utility. They um, are self-addressed here uh, and stamped. Um, it's a relatively convenient process. Um, if we do miss somebody, they can call us at the, uh, if you haven't heard from us, if you've gotten a card in the next couple of weeks, call us at 684-7600, uh, and we'll make sure you uh, get a, a card at your, your home. Um, in addition to this uh, press event today, uh, we will be uh, conducting um, information meetings in both the, uh, the areas that are being served by these programs. Um, one of the uh, meetings, the one in the north end uh, by Recycle America, will be held on actually um, three days um, in, um, on December 21st through the 23rd, and it will be at various retail locations in the north end. And uh, the one in the south end uh, will be um, on January 23rd at the Jefferson Park Community Center. Uh, and people can come and ask questions uh, at, at either of those or sign up or whatever. And we'll, people from the utility as well as the contractors will be at those, those meetings. Uh, we uh, obviously have missed some people in a big city like this, uh, people in the apartment uh, complex. Uh, and he'll describe how the program will work there. Steve, you might want to introduce uh, some members of your uh, staff who are going to be All right. important here. Too. Thank you very much. Um, well, we're very, very proud and excited about this program. And we're, you know, we think that Seattle is really taking a step forward and putting together an innovative and convenient program, which has been the key to the success of a number of our programs. Um, we've got a good team. We've got some very dynamic local people. We've got Susan Smith as operations manager, who I'd like to take my hat up to. has done a lot of work. I'd also like to commend the, the mayor and the, the council and the utility for the hard work that it took to put this program together. Um, waste management has been doing business as Recycle America in a number of different cities, and we look at this one as there's some innovative twist to this program. and. We're very excited to be 
starting this in uh, February. It's going to be a phased-in process. <coughs> we'll be using the stacking containers to deliver your home. And, uh, and basically, I'll tell you how it works. And I've got some recyclable materials to put in myself to show you how easy it is. Even, even I can do it. <laughs> Got some newspapers. Got some mixed waste paper, which uh, is a bunch of different things food packages, junk mail, whatever. That's the newest item in curbside programs. It's, uh, it's very innovative to be recycling that, that mixed grade of paper. We've got cans and bottles we can put here in the top. And of course, even the brown bag here can go right in there. Um, if you live north of the Ship Canal, this will be the program. I think it's important to know that, note that both programs are very convenient, and it is a demonstration of the two different types. Uh, we, um, well, the, the North End event has been announced. I think that uh, that's basically the key to it, and I guess one, one other thing is that we will be just the scheduling. It is going to be a phased-in program. So starting the last week of January, we'll be delivering these containers to, to people's homes in the north of the Ship Canal. And that'll signify when the program begins. The week after residents receive those containers, our truck, our collection truck will come around and every week thereafter on the same collection day uh, pick up the materials. And it's as simple as it, simple as it can be, basically. Thank you very much. <laughs> Stu's firm has uh, a lot of experience in uh, the... Thank you. Uh, Recycle Seattle is also pleased to be part of this innovative program. Uh, we put together three locally owned and operated companies, a uh, paper fibers company because of its <coughs> expertise in recycling and markets, Spear Solid Waste for the uh, collection experience, and EDJ Industries for their management and maintenance experience. And we think this locally owned uh, company is going to do a bang up job collecting recyclables throughout the south end of Seattle. We also elected to go with a somewhat different program. Our program involves a 60 or 90 gallon toter in which all of the recyclables will be placed in a mixed state. It's going to be real convenient to use. All you have to do is open it up and then Recyclables in the container and close it, and it will remain watertight. Uh, the truck that we're using to pick up this material is also enclosed, so we're going to be happy to get dry material in the city of Seattle. The program will uh, start in February. We will be passing out calendars uh, that will have a day mark on them for the collection day that will be collected once a month, and we're looking forward to contributing to reducing Seattle solid waste. Thank you. Before we quit, I uh, want to introduce uh, a couple of people from the soil waste utility. Uh, Seattle has a reputation for um, being a leader in recycling. Our 22% recycling rate is uh, among the highest, if not the very highest rate of any major city in the United States. Uh, we uh, hope that uh, this program and fully expect this program will um, move us uh, considerably closer to our 40% recycling goal. I want to introduce Don Neese, who's been head of uh, our recycling program. Why don't you come forward? Uh, he's been a real advocate for recycling. And, uh, he's largely responsible, along with the recycling community, for the, the accomplishments we have to date. Um, before we uh, end, uh, we want to uh, encourage all of you here to fill out the card. Uh, if you live south of the Ship Canal, Turn the red card into uh, where we where are the boxes? Right here. Or, I can't see anything on these lights. But, uh. Again, how how is this being paid for? I know they don't.